I be so shaky, you niggas just contradicting. I be so bold myself, when you come and fuck me. I feel so ordinary, said when you won't crown me. Treat me like all the white like, man, I'm arguments, you air me out. Tripping about your whereabouts, I can't keep no conflict with you, but can we just rub it out? I don't want no sad energy. Too early, baby, won't you meet me by the beam? Too early, baby, later, you can show me things. So what's up y'all as y'all read about the title i am doing my very first quick weave on myself if you know me you know i love keeping my hair done i love for my hair to be done and my stylist she currently lives in freaking florida but she's moving back to tennessee in february of next year so i cannot wait until she gets back but this is just me showing y'all all the products that i used um i did not put any type of description of the hair that I used because honestly it wasn't like great quality hair I think I paid like $30 for it I knew I didn't want something um, that expensive because for one I didn't really know what I was doing I knew what I was doing because I watched videos but again it was my first time and I thought that I had some real human hair that I could use as a quick weave but I didn't do all of it out so right here y'all just see me um, parting it and like i said i watched a video a couple of videos before i did this um and i'm not gonna take y'all head off so i'm gonna just let y'all watch me <laughs> do my little braid down and then i'm gonna be right back listen y'all by the time i got to this point of the braid down i was like oh this ain't gonna work out because as y'all can see i have a silk press at this time and the herb was just too silky like the braids was not lasting so baby i needed an alternative and as y'all can see baby i came up with one So once I got that cap on, um, as y'all can see, I did not braid all of my hair down, but I did end up getting the cap over it and everything was great. Um, I did put two caps just for security. Um, and as y'all see here, this is just me molding my cap just to protect my natural hair, baby, because I ain't, I ain't been bald headed since I was like one and I ain't trying to ever go back to being bald headed. I love my natural hair and I make sure I take care of it. So that's why I use two caps. I think you'll be good if you don't use two caps, but this was just my preference. Now, one thing I did learn is that it takes it a minute for this stuff to dry. Um, 
so that's why I have the blow dryer and I was you know changing it from cold to, to hot cold to hot cold to hot so that I can get this um, dried um, as y'all see here I am cutting the cap all the excess cap because we don't need that Now, one thing about this quick weave, baby, I'm telling y'all, I'm showing y'all the good, bad, and the ugly. As you can see, I did not let it dry, so therefore the cap was coming up. So I had to reapply more on there to get that to stay down. Now, as y'all can see, this quick weave is looking like a quick weave. That's because I trusted the process. It's looking like I done done this before. Now that I have glued all of the tracks down, this is me just taking my leave out out, combing it out, trying to make sure it's, you know, going to blend in well with this cheap ass hair that I bought. Never again. It did what it needed to be done, but yeah, mm -mm, you get what you pay for. That's why I don't mind spending money on the things that I want. All right, y'all, now we back to this little corner where I had an issue with it, and baby, the SS cap wasn't trying to come off, but we end up getting it off. So yeah, we looking better and better as the video go by. Now, by this time, I was really feeling myself because I'm like, okay, Missy Magic, this your first time doing a quick weave, and you ain't doing too shabby. You ain't doing too shabby, honey. Now, y'all can see how cheap this hair is. Look at me. Just wrestling with it. Look at that.
Here's another lesson that I learned. I don't know why the hell I tried to curl this cheap ass hair. Because you know it's cheap, so you can't have the curler up high so the curls can stay. Baby, I had to give up on the curling because they went it, it wasn't holding no curl. It was not holding the curl at all. So once I saw the curls weren't finna, finna work, I grabbed them flat irons. Y'all, I almost burnt the dang on her. I forgot it was cheap hair. And I had them flat irons up high so I can get this shit straight. Baby, the herb was in the flat iron. <laughs> I had to remind myself, girl, remember you bought some cheap hair. You can't you can't be using no, no high heat on this. Another lesson I learned, baby, this is holding spray. What is you spraying this for? You ain't got no curls or nothing. You ain't got no kind of style to hold it. Because at the end of the day, this cheap hair is not finna hold this straight. It ain't finna hold like that either. It's not going to stay straight. So, baby, remember, that is holding spray. Now for the baby hairs, I use Gorilla Snot just because this is what my stylist uses on me. It's not going to hold it long, honestly, um, but I still like it for natural hair, should I say. I like it better on natural hair than I do when I have like my frontals in, my, my wig frontals. So yeah, it's pretty good. But by this time, you cannot tell me nothing because look at this quick wig. Mind you, this was my very first time ever doing my hair in general. So this was my first time doing a quick weave and it looks so good, y'all. It looks so good. So I was like, let me record just in case this come out looking like I want it to look. And I'm so glad I recorded this for y'all.
Yes, honey, you better. You better. <laughs> but I do hope y'all enjoyed this video of me showing y'all how I did my quick weave. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see y'all in the next episode.